Hey guys, what's up? Art Blonde here. And uh, Artanus came out today for people who have pre-ordered Legacy of the Void. And I was one of those people, so I've been playing a little bit of him. He is a lot of fun. And he does a lot of damage, I think. While being really, really, really tanky with his, uh, with his shield. But we'll, we'll talk about that build later. Uh, I'll just go over his ability real quick because people probably haven't seen him yet or you know think that that Q you dash forward and dash back. It's not a very good ability because you can't use your other abilities during it. It'd be a lot better for say like if you Q forward and you auto attack them for your W or maybe E them. So while you're forward you E. And that would have been really cool but you can't do that. And on top of that you can be CC doing this. So uh, you're not gonna be wanting to use this ability very much. Especially if the enemy team has hard CC at all. It is destined. Like you can be hooked, you can be user stunned during it, and it cancels, you know, your progress back. So kind of a bad ability. <laughs> I'll show you what it does to min and stuff. And his W is just an auto attack reset that is on a really low cooldown that makes you attack twice. Pretty decent. So W does a lot of damage over time if you can just keep rocking it. And his E is really, really cool. It uh, trades places with the first enemy hit. It doesn't hit minions, it hits enemy heroes. So it's really good for using on someone to then therefore or then follow up with a body block. And obviously, he gets them. And his passive, as he sees a shield, the procs. When you take damage, you can go up 50%. And we'll be really building into that with the with the build, I think it's going to be good later on. So we'll talk about a talent build. Take mine, this is the first day, but I think this is probably the way to go. I'll talk about why I choose talents and uh, why the other ones are kind of not that good. So level 1, I would probably take Season Marks from. Um, this talent is a complete noob trap for his E. Like, if he uses E, you better be hitting it. And if you don't, <laughs> you shouldn't be taking a talent that uh, does stuff when you miss it. React to Parry is like a block, but it's not very good because you only get one charge of it, so you can only have it one second. And it's only one auto attack, so it's pretty hard to store up because if you're attacking somebody, you're going to be taking auto attack damage, most likely. So it's this one's not that good, I don't think. But it is good if you really need that defense. If you really, really require it. And this one's really... Amateur Fun is really bad if... Just for about everything, except for doing boss. But there's other heroes to pick if you're uh, going to be trying to do boss quickly or something like that. So I think Season Marksman is good because it stacks with his W. And um, I end up going follow through too, so it, it combos with that as well. Level 4, all of his talents are kind of uh, not that good at this tier. Um, shield battery, if your shield duration is full, it lowers the cooldown. So it basically punishes you for having the cooldown, or the shield not go off. But uh, with this build, um, extra CDR on the shield is not really necessary. So you don't want to be taking this talent. <laughs> and it's not going to proc most of the time anyway, so you shouldn't be taking this talent regardless, I don't think. Uh, lethal Veracity increases your range of by 30%. I think this might be the go-to, because it just makes the Q easier to use. Harder to react to by the enemy team. But uh, Chrono Surge can be good if you're just trying to 1v1 people. But you shouldn't be using your E. It should be using it for utility, not like damage or anything like that. And 25% attack speed is not that much. It's only 4 seconds, so I don't see this being very good. Especially when it's on a ability that has such a long big one. And it's obviously your blade dash cooldown when you're below 50%. I don't think it's good at all because when you're below 50%, you're not going to be wanting to Q very much. So like I said, Q is, I think, a really, really bad ability. And people are going to really that pretty quickly, I think, once you see that they can get CC during you. So I think Lethal Rest is going to go because it makes it a little bit easier to use, harder to punish. Uh, level 7, these are all pretty decent. 
I think fall through is the best. Um, face prism slows the speed by 30%. Now this is okay, I guess, but it's not, uh, it's only 30% because the speed slow. But it's, it's really good if you're using the E to body lock, because then the enemy is slowed, so it's going to be really, really hard for them to move past you, on top of you being just in front of them. Uh, Solar Reaper increases the first uh, blade damage by 150%. And if I'm doing the math correctly, I think that's like 75% damage of the second one. So it's... All in all though, this is really bad because look at... It's, we're level 20 and this does 125 damage. So yeah, you're increasing it by... I think 160, 180, but it's not that much damage at all. And you're not, like I said, you're not going to be wanting to use Q that much, so try not spending it as much as possible. And it's high on energy, we just pull down every shield it, when you hit people with Q. Uh, this one's okay, but with our build, you don't need any more CDR. So this one does have a place, but not the one I'm going. I think follow through is the best because it uh, stacks with season marksman. And you're going to be using follow through every time you use your W, and it's every 4 seconds. So it's, it's pretty strong, it'll, be, it'll give you a lot of uh, damage output. Uh, as for heroics, I think Suppression Pulse is a lot better than Gear Fire Beam because, for one, it's AoE. AoE, her abilities have a much easier time being better than single target. And uh, 4 seconds blind is really, really strong. Uh, pretty insane, actually. Because that's a lot of damage you're negating by using that on the enemy team. And it can stop hard engages, it can uh, just turn the tide of the fight because. It's really large and it's pretty easy to hit, and it's 4 second blind. The damage is measurable, it's not, not a lot of damage, but it is there. Beer Fire Beam is just not enough power for what it does, and it's 80 second cooldown. And it's way too easy to move out of. And even if you get a full channel on someone, like, which will never ever happen, you'll get maybe 2 seconds, 3 seconds. It's uh, pretty underwhelming, I think. I think Suppression Pulse is definitely going to be time to go. And 1316, um, we will be expecting to uh, shield. Oh, I like it. Uh, this one's really good because it's a spell shield that is always going to proc when you're taking damage. You know, you're not gonna just be taking random poke and have your spell shield proc. This one's always going to be effective. And on top of that, it's going to be up a lot because you're going to be resetting your shield cooldown. Now, uh, triple strike's okay. Increases your W damage by 50% if you look at it that way. If you're going really aggressive, it's uh, this season. Graviton Vortex is whatever, I don't think it's very good. Brain Rage is Brain Rage. If you want, if you desperately need Wave Clear, take Brain Rage. But I think Face Bulwark is an amazing talent. That'll make him so much more tankier and be able to live and fight. But if you're going yellow, Triple Strike seems uh, pretty good. So, level 16, he has three W talents. And then one of his shield talents. Um, since we're stacking into shield at 20 and 13, I think Steel Shirts is the way to go. And I think that Artanis does need it because the shield is his only like real defense. And it procs so often that you're going to get a lot of value out of this. Uh, Zealot Charge, I've tried it, and it's like, it's okay, but. Um, it does give you mobility, and that's what if that's what you need in a, in a game, it can be good to go. Because Artanis does lack util or, uh, mobility. Because, you know, you can't use mobility as a Q, it's actually anti-mobility. Because when you're queuing a target and they're running away, if you queue them, by the time you get back, they're going to be hella far away. <laughs> so it's like, you can't use the chase at all. And his E is technically mobility, but you're not going to be able to use it consistently enough to make up for the fact that... You know, he just walks around and doesn't really have ways to get to people. <clears throat> um, time Killer is basically Giant Killer, but only for W. It basically, so when you use your W, it is 5% of the target's HP. Um, it's alright, because if you are getting a lot of W's off, it could be really good. And if you got the level 13 talent, which strikes three times, it uh, juices it up to 7.5. So it's, it is a big damage increase if you uh, 
are able to get it off consistently. And Cyanic Wound is a vulnerability talent. Increases the damage they take by uh, by 25% for two seconds. And that one's good as well because it's you know it's a four second cooldown. So if you're getting that off a lot, if you're trying to assassinate people and other people, you have your team is helping you, it can be good. But I think if you're gonna expect the damage, that'll be passing, you probably a uh, Titan Killer. Because that is a lot of extra damage, especially late game. Because you charge is really good as well. If uh, you're able just to live a long time and fight and chase people down. But since we're going into level 20 shield talent, I think shield surge is definitely the way to go. So level 20, you just have your upgrade for your ult, or your hook, my bad. Second charge, not that good. Especially since there's a 10 second cooldown between pieces, like, you're not going to be using it that much. Nexus Blades is Nexus Blades, it's, it's uh, mediocre at best. Force of Will though is insane because um, it increases your shield CDR when you attack. So let me just show you this. Usually you uh, reduce it by 4 seconds. So when you attack auto, or auto attack and then W, you have 12 seconds. This talent makes it to 18. So it'll just proc the shield a bit. Yeah, the shield went off, I attacked once, and it's already back up again. Alright, let's attack again. Oh, look, it's up again. Oh, by the way, you're getting spell shield and increased shield. Oh, look at that, it's up again. So, yeah, this sounds pretty nuts. Just, I'm just, look at that, I'm gonna be able to just start this one with a few. It's pretty nuts. <laughs> So I think this is definitely the build to go because it's just, you know, I'm taking blue for not being right now that I'm living. I didn't beat him in the team fight. I'm doing that. You fought well this day, my but um, if you don't want to go for shields, you just want to do a lot of damage, definitely take the 3 attack and then the uh, Titan kill you. And uh, yeah, that's about it for Artanis. I think. A bold plan. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed, honestly, because they could have made his hero a lot, a lot cooler if they integrated his W and his E into his Q. You know, you use his Q and it's just not uh, intuitive at all. You don't use it with anything else. You know, you can't Q forward and E. You can't Q and auto attack doing it. With honor, and he could be CC doing it, so um, it's pretty lame ability, honestly. Um, although his W and E is really cool. His E especially is a really neat idea. And I like the heroics. But uh, it's hard to see how Purifier Beam will ever be better than Suppression Pulse. And the shield's kind of cool. It can be kind of toxic, I guess, to play against because, like, it's like, oh, we're damaging this guy, but uh, he's getting shields. He's going to do that below 50%. You never know, maybe there's a strategy that'll involve uh, not damaging Artanis below 50% so his shield doesn't proc and then you know saving up all your cooldowns and stuff to use on him when uh so you can just burst him down to 0% before you can get any more W or I mean his shield procs up as his W and stuff Together, we are I don't think it's gonna happen because he gets really tanky if you have these three talents I mean, he gets really tough to take down so yeah that's about it um we'll see you know how he is Competitive wise, uh, you might have a spot. I don't know. I haven't played enough of them to really no figure it out. Yeah, obviously, I haven't played them in scrims or anything. So. But yeah, that's my Artanis video, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later. The number one thing that she has going for is her forgiving uh, feature. She has got mobility um, whenever she takes damage, which allows her to escape.